Guys, today I have an awesome lesson for you today. This is one of the most fun I've had playing a fingerstyle song in a long time and it's The Bug Collector by Hayley Hendrix. Check it out. So you can probably see why I've had a lot of fun learning this song and I'm really excited to teach you guys so come check it out. Now if you're a beginner guitarist this song might be a bit of a challenge for you but if you want to have a challenge this is a great song to work on as well. And I've also got a free 5 day beginner course in the description below if you're looking for a few more tips as well. But let's get straight into it. We've got a funky tuning today so we're not in standard tuning. Our tuning is going to be A. So you're tuning down a lot. Now, I want you to be careful as you're tuning down. Obviously, with the, the low E string, you're not too worried about it snapping. But with some of the higher strings, it can be a little concerning. And so what I want you to do is take it slowly as you're tuning down, not rush it, and try and bend the strings as well as you're doing it. So I've got an A. Then we're keeping our fifth string the same, an A as well. Then we've got a D flat. An E. And we're not actually playing the first string, but I'd recommend you tune that first string down as well because as you're detuning a lot of these other strings, you'll notice that there's so much more tension placed on those strings that aren't being tuned down. So tune it down, it doesn't matter though what you tune it to. So just to recap, we've got A, A, D flat, E, A flat, and then don't worry about the first string. We're gonna chuck a capo on the sixth fret here, and you might just wanna make sure you're in tune again and then you'll be good to go. The start of the song will go like this. All right, so that's pretty simple in terms of what we're doing with our left hand, and there's a good pattern here that I'm gonna show you on the right hand. So we're starting off with just using our middle finger on the fourth fret of the fifth string, index finger on the third fret of the fourth string. We're going five, three, four, two. And you'll notice that the thumb is covering the fifth and fourth string there. So check that out. Five with our thumb, three with our index finger, four with our thumb, two with our middle finger. And then repeat that same thing. All right, so that's. Then slide that down one fret. Exactly the same thing. So I'll go through that slowly. the same thing again, down one fret. Alright, so that's the first three parts and then we're going to go... Alright, so... Just play that sixth string open. And then we're going to play the third and fourth string. So remember fourth string with our thumb. So we've gone... and then third and fourth together. And we're gonna hammer on to the second fret of the third string. All right. So. So there we're gonna add three more notes on. So there, six, three and four. Hammer on, six, two, four, so. Then we're gonna go, so that's six and three together, with our second fret on the third string, and hammer on to the fourth fret of the third string. All right, so you'll see there, just using my ring finger to hammer on there. So, so far we've got Then we're going to go four, two, then six, three, four, all right? So again, six and three together, hammer on, four, two, six, three, four. So 
slowly there, we'll go. Alright, so from the start it's going to be... So you might just want to work on that really slowly to work your way up. It can be really hard to get your head around. So let's try that again. Six, three and four. Six, two, four. Six and three. Four, two, six, three, four. So then building up the speed there. And then repeat that same thing. And then we're going to add a second string there straight afterwards. So, Alright, so let me go through that first part slowly and then I'll build it up to speed as well so you can see how that works uh, up to speed. You might want to play along here. I've forgotten the second string there at the end because that's going to lead us back into it again. Let me show you that now. Alright, so that's it closer to the actual speed. Now I have noticed one thing that I didn't teach you exactly right and I want to make sure it's right because this is a fun part. That's the first time we play it and the second time we play it is normal. Alright, but you want to notice there that I'm going and then three and four together and just let that ring out. And you can use your fingers as well to bend that note a tiny bit as you're going as well to add a little bit of flair. So it will sound like this. And remember there we're staying on that three and four. Three and four, and then back to that original way I taught you. So that whole thing together one more time. And then we're going to go straight back into it. the first section done. Alright, so that's the whole intro and then we're going to repeat that exact same thing two more times for the start of the verse. So that's twice for the intro then twice for the verse which will then take us into our next section which I'm about to teach you. So the next section is going to start like this. Alright, now that might sound complicated but it's not too bad. What you need to know here is you're going to hammer on from the open sixth string to the second fret of the sixth string with your middle finger. But I want you to have your ring finger there first on that second fret of the fourth string because we're about to pluck that as well. So going from here, then we're gonna go, and that's open sixth to hammer on, four, three, six, two, four, three. again slowly then pluck sixth and two together so that's six and two four three six two four three so let's go through that really slowly Alright. 
You might want to try that a few times. Or a little bit slower. Now I know I might be going a little bit too fast, but I want you to pause this video as you're going as well to work on that. All right, just spend some time making sure that you're comfortable with that or even comfortable with the intro. because it does get really fast once you play it with the original recording and so I can't get you up to that speed in this time alone but if you can pause it as you go that'll really help you to keep up. Alright, so after that part we're then going to go so not too hard there we're going six, two and four together Six, three, four, two, six, three, four, two, six, three, four, two. So six, two, and four. Six, three, four, two, and then repeat that. And keep on using that thumb for the sixth and fourth. So. So this whole section together so far. And then we're going to go. So what we're doing there is we're opening up the strings. So we're going open six, three, four, two, six, three, four. And then repeat that again. So really slowly. All right, so a little bit faster. So then putting that together, we've got... And then we're going to go a new one. Alright, that's going to be 6 and 3 together. 4. And then 2nd fret of the 3rd string. Alright. Alright, so 6 and 3. Four, second fret of the third, six, and then three and four both open. All right, so so then we've got and then repeat that first part, and then we're going to repeat it. And then after that we're going to go, so there we're going 6th string open, then 3rd and 4th string, that's the 2nd fret of the 3rd string, and slide up to the 4th string there, alright, so, then we're going 6, 2, 4, so 6, 3 and 4, Slide up, six, two, four. Then that's six and three together on the second fret of the third string. Four, two, six, three, four. So the same picking pattern we've done a lot of times, this time just with that second fret of the third string. So again play that with me so alternating between that sixth and fourth string with our thumb just watch my hand over here my picking hand and you'll be able to understand a little bit better if you're confused and then we're going to go back to the 
we've already learned that part, that's sixth and three together. Four, second fret of the third. Six, three and four both open. So. So that part together so far will be. And then. All right, and you already know that part. So putting that all together, I know it's a little bit hard to follow along when there's so many different moving parts, but let me play it slowly for you. So let me put that whole section together. I know it's been hard, but I'll go through it a little bit faster. We've gone through this. And then we're gonna go into this. This one. And that's going to take us onto our final new section that I'm going to teach you, which is a lot of fun to play as well. So this time we're going to take our eighth fret with our ring finger of our second string and we're going to pluck the sixth and second together. Then pluck the fourth, so sixth and two, four, six, three, four, then seven. Uh, seventh fret up there on the second string. Four, six, three, four. So that same pattern, six and two together. It's four, six, three, four. Six and two together. Four, six, three, four. Then we're gonna go. That's six and two, four, and then we're gonna go back up to our seventh fret there. All right, so we're going from our fifth fret to our 7th fret, so it'll be, so back to our 6th string, so it's a little bit of a tricky rhythm, we're going, da, da, da. so 6 and 2, 4, 2, 6, 2, 4, And then we're going to go six and two, but open second string this time. And then four, three, four. All right, so very slowly. And we'll go again. back up to here, up to our 8th fret, same thing, and that's where it's going to be different, we're going to go, and this time we're not going to go back to our 5th fret, we're just going to go 2nd uh, and 4th string together, and that's open on both, so 6 and 2, 4, then 2nd, and then sixth string again. So six and two, four, second, six. And then on the beat, we're gonna go second and fourth string together. All right. So that whole section so far will be. That's going to take us straight back into all right so you already know that part and the only difference there will be we're going to go and then all right so then taking it off so 
and then back to this one. All right, so that's just a small variation in there. So we'll be going. And then. And then that's gonna take us straight back to where we started. So I know that's been a lot. Let me just play that final section for you so we can understand. All right, so we're going from this. Then up to this one. So I hope you've joined me up to this point. I know it's a lot of work to get to that point, but it's so much fun once you can get there as well, playing along to the original recording. And don't forget to go check out that free beginner course in the description below for heaps of tips as well. Go check that out, and I'll see you next time.